Hello. Hello. Sharon Wheatley here. Jacob Brent. It's Friday. Monday. Yay. We're here at the Galaxy Diner on um, 46 and 9. Oh, that's right, 46 to 9. You wouldn't know that. Uh, we are across the street from an apartment that we used to call the CCM dorm. Yes, I live next door to that dorm. Yeah. The, I don't know if there's CCM people there now, though. I don't think so either. CCM is the Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music, which is where I went to college. And when we first moved to... That's a fancy college. So, Sharon, so Sharon, you're all dressed up today. Where are you going? Oh. Uh, and but P.S. By the way, <laughs> do you like my reaction? Your headshot ready. Headshot do you think ready. I'm headshot ready. Yes, headshot ready again. Okay, here's a, let me talk about headshot ready for a second because I should be headshot ready. Oh, our dinner, our lunch. Is here's our food. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. You're headshot ready. They put cheese on that? Oh, horrible. Evil people. Did you order it like that? No, you did, and so they just... <laughs> Jacob, Jacob's lactose intolerant, although he did once try to convince me that... <laughs> <laughs> that the, the Frosties were dairy free. A Frosty. And from it worked Wendy's. for about two weeks. <laughs> now, I never tried it because I knew I would die. Oh. But you would get a Frosty and you'd be like, Yeah, I was like, Oh, oh. like just tolerant. Ooh, there's gum under the table. <laughs> Welcome That's to New York. Disgusting. I am headshot ready because I have auditions today. Awesome. Two. You already had them? I already had one. Oh, how'd it they was, go? Well, it was at 9.50 in the morning, and I got there at 10 after 10. Uh, commercial? Yeah, it's a commercial. And you had to look like a business person, so I have on, I don't know. There, you did. You did business. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't. Because in the audition, oh. the woman said to me, "She, I have these sleeves. Have you seen my sleeves? They're sort of cute, whatever. Yeah. She was like, what are those sleeves? What are those sleeves? you got to roll those up. That's You're supposed to look like a vice president of a company. And I was like, I'm the vice president of my own company on the couch, and these sleeves are fine. Anyway, no. whatever. So, it was fine. Uh, I don't think I booked it. I don't care. I was 20 minutes late. And then I have another audition later um, to do uh, the 25th annual, you know, that Spelling Bee show with all the Putnam County. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Which you have, should have played like 18 times by now. Oh, I was up for replacing Lisa Howard yeah. after she left Broadway, but now I'm auditioning for it and I think it pays 52 cents and it's yeah. in September. Because my mom saw that show on Broadway and then immediately called me and was like, you you tell Sharon she go, she needs to go over there and play that part. Me? Yeah. Thank you, Babs. Didn't you kind of do that, though? No. I yes, didn't. you did. I did. I called Tara Rubin and told her I was perfect for the show. <laughs> for what show? Cats. Yeah. And then she said... And you said, were how old? 21. And then, and then she yeah. said, can you come in on... That was Monday. And she said, can you come in on Wednesday? Nuh-uh. Really? Yeah. She said, great. Can you come in on Wednesday? <laughs> and and then what happened? I got hired that day. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't. I mean, I knew the story, but I didn't know it was this quick. Yeah, I moved to New York like mo on a Sunday night, Monday. Yeah. Called Tara Rubin immediately. Said hi. Hold hi. it. But wait a second. It's not that easy. You don't just call Tara Rubin and Tara Rubin answers the phone. Oh, it's the biggest no-no. Like, <laughs> you should never do that. That's horrible. I just didn't know better. So what did you do? You just looked up Johnson and the casting. Yeah, I, I knew yeah. who, yeah, I said, who cast this show? And yeah. I said, let me just call him. And I called him and said, hey, I'm Jacob Brent. Um, and, <laughs> I'm Jacob Brent. I just and, got off the bus. Um, I'm perfect for this show, and you should see me. And she said, can you hold on one second? And I think they were, like, probably laughing. <laughs> like, or going, oh, my God, who is this? Right. And then um, uh, she got back on the phone and said, great, how tall are you? And I said, 5'8". Because... As we saw in a character description once, we weren't uh. supposed to see this. It was a breakdown for cats, and we saw it. And my role, it said, can be overweight. And Jacob's role said, short. <laughs> That's it. Short. <laughs> Not like needs good ballet technique, you know, whatever. Short. short. Can be overweight. But I'm also, I think, the smallest Mistopolis there's ever been. Really? Yeah. Like, they love, they love them, like, 5'4", 5 5'5". 5 
Wow. Like little. They love them little. You're so, lucky that Tom Cruise didn't play it in the film. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was it was between him and I, which was weird. Um, so uh, so let me finish this story because it's sorry. one that no one wants to hear. Um, <laughs> so can you come in on Wednesday? And I said sure. Um, so I went in on Wednesday. It was at the it was at the Winter Garden. It was one of those fancy like so was mine. You're auditioning on the stage, on the stage. which so awesome. doesn't really happen anymore. Ever. Um, and there were six I, of us, five of us, five of them. It's the only time I've auditioned on a Broadway stage. I did for Victor Victoria. Our audition oh, was did? on the on the no, stage. No, definitely my. That's the only time. Um, so. Five people. Oh, there were six of us. Five of them had done the show. They'd been in the show prior or on the national tour. See, now that's important to know that you really do re audition for shows that you've already been in. I made this point in my Smash Vlog. You oh, yeah. absolutely do it. Yeah. I re auditioned for Phantom and I didn't book it. <laughs> well, that's I've, a different blog. <laughs> I have theories about right. that. But anyway, so. They you made know us what the dirty. theory is? I don't sing well. Oh, no, no, that's no, 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 no. so I mean, right. let's not make this any sort of mythology. No. Phantom of the Opera, they hire diva opera singers. And how I got in the first time, I don't know. But And I did a good job. It's not bad. It's just that when I went back in and I was re-auditioning for it, they needed somebody who could cover Carlotta. And oh, so you either have yeah, that or you don't. You either have that high year or you don't. And I don't. I just don't. So there is no amount of vocalizing that's going to get me out there. Do you want me, should that I was get, I'm like, going to get the phone. <laughs> <laughs> my agent. Oh, my God. Brad Broadway. <laughs> all right. So anyway, so there were six of us, and they said they put us all six on stage, and they said, okay, can you do turns in a second, which are those turns that I, the fancy turns I'm that I did. I'm going to demonstrate. No. They got cut out of the movie, though. <laughs> Anyway, so we did them, and like, I'm sort I'm of exaggerating, not over that. Go but on, like, yeah. like people started falling down or like falling off the stage or like you know, and I just kind of stood in one spot, and kept going, and then they said, okay, great, thanks, and um, oh, like I left, and they called <laughs> me, and I was on 54th Street, and yeah. they said, you're joining the Broadway company of Cats, and it's like and started on like, Friday, and you were like, of course I am. Is that what you were like, or were you excited? No, I was. Dreams came true. Really? Like, it really like your like, head exploded. Yes, like I, I'd been dreaming of that moment since I was six years old. Aww. So. That's insane. Aww, I know. Uh, I don't expect it. I am gonna give you one. I'm gonna tell you something you don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I wrote that smash blog today. Oh yeah. And all of a sudden, I got really nervous about it. I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I started getting really nervous You're about it. You're friends with Teresa. So I'm friends with Teresa Reba. And I'm not... Which is fancy. It's, but it's because she taught me in a, in a seminar. Yeah, but, uh, and then we became... We did become friends. And, and I don't know, we have a... We have a nice connection, she and I. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, in a, in a bizarre way, and I'm totally flattering myself well, she likes to her say writing, this. And she loves her performing. She's sort of mentor y to me. Sort of, and I mean, not. So this morning, I decided, after I'd written it, and I started seeing that the numbers were taking off again, and this is not the second time I've written it. Okay. Um, I decided. Oh, no. I was going to email it to her. I know. And, and I've had very little contact with her because she's Teresa Be Rebeck. She's going to play writing on Broadway. Who's, like, who the hell's writing her an email right now? Certainly not me. No. I did today. Of course, cut to, I did. And then she answered? Well, I sent an email and I just said, you know, listen, I just want you to know from me that I'm writing this. And if you hate it, I would completely take it down and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like just a short little email, whatever. And so um, she wrote me right back. That's nice. That's fancy. Did she say stop writing immediately? What's it a cease and desist? It's I'm tempted to cliffhang it. Oh. We'll see you on Monday. Yeah. <laughs>